SEC strapped up, man. Locked down, locked tight. You ain't heard about it. It was Liddy and Bull City for the Battle of the 919, North Carolina Central hosting Shaw. And what turned out to be a catch me outside, how about that type of game. Protect the house, hit that to the mouth, defense with a nice side of the ball, over our control the line of scrimmage, and let's send that back goes down. Quick. You at home with it. You at home hey, with it. Hey, it's hey, all that. This one felt very personal. I mean, this game had a real back alley in McDougal Terrace type of feel to it, and I'm going to take y'all all the way from the tailgate to the fifth quarter like only HBCU game day can. This is the first home game. We got plenty more to come. I tell Gabe, I've been doing this for the last five, six years for Ralph Fraser and the Griffin. And Jesse Jefferson, three lawyers that win the show, they get back to the school, they feed the whole masses every year. It's all good. Yes, yes, yes. Make sure you come out for that grilled caps I'll be doing later on. You see, she's smart and energetic. Now that's our favorite type of game day fan right there. On to the action in between the lines. Second quarter, the Eagles showing off their backfield. Darrell McClain here with the one yard punch into the end zone. Same quarter, redshirt freshman Isaiah Totten takes the handoff, causes a great two high ankle sprain, and skates across the goal line for six. The Shaw U Bears down early, but their fan base was unapologetically unbothered by the big boys from Durham. Hey, if you want to you're not messing with us, man. We here. We here all year long. The score actually ended up being 20 to nothing, Eagles at the half. Now the ladies of Shaw U were definitely in the house, and I'm officially giving them my vote for this week's HBCU Game Day, Women Crush Wednesday. Hashtag WCW. And now we gotta take a small moment to appreciate the NCCU Marching Sound Machine. A Mr. Telephone Man. Peace to Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike. And just like New Edition, the hits kept coming from the Eagles in the second half. Early in the fourth, true freshman quarterback Chauncey Caldwell introduces himself to his new fans with this nice 13-yard read option score. Looking a little bit like his predecessor Malcolm Bell on that scramble, but the OGs on the squad got to show him that celebration ball footage. You got to keep that hat on, young fella. Seems like the Eagle defense was serious about that goose egg they talked about in that pregame huddle because they didn't budge all game. It definitely felt like they wanted a little redemption from that goose egg of their own at Duke last week and NCCU did not cut Shaw any slack. Here we got five minutes left to play. Eagles up 34 to nothing, and Isaiah Totten up the middle for 25 yards and his second touchdown. The NCCU defense gets their goose egg, beats Shaw 41-nothing to remain big dogs of the 919. And as promised, you gonna get this culture. Here's the NCCU marching sound machine with a shutout of their own in the fifth quarter. Stay tuned to HBCUGameDay.com and follow us on all social media platforms at HBCU Game Day, the leader in HBCU sports and culture.